Hey guys, so when I was on live yesterday, actually I was on one of my friend's lives, um, Brandy Henry, one of my favorite followers here on Instagram. She was discussing uh, manifestations, affirmations, visualization, and all of those fun things that everybody is really doing right now because it's the beginning of the year. Everybody's doing vision boards, everybody's goal setting, and we all have these desires and things that we're trying to attract and manifest in our lives for the 2019 year. However, what I've noticed is that a lot of people create vision boards every single year. And I'm like, hmm, like why are they <laughs> why are they creating another vision board? Did they manifest everything off of the one from last year? And um, what I'm starting to find out is no, they didn't manifest or you may not have manifested anything off of your vision board for la from last year and yet you're creating another one this year. So today what I want to have a conversation with you about is how to actually start manifesting things from your vision board and to become a pro at this and that you can just manifest things that you imagine. You don't need a board anymore. Um, last year I did create a vision board uh, at the beginning of the year and so far I have manifested five things off of it off of my vision board and there are still some things that are manifesting and coming into fruition at this moment and so when people ask me Shawana are you creating a new vision board for 2019 I'm like no I will be creating a new vision board video showing you um, some updated processes of what I think works better, um, explaining how to use it, and showing you the photos that I will be replacing on my vision board because those things have already happened for me. But I don't really believe in creating a new one every year because it takes time to manifest things. You are shifting a paradigm. You are, are shifting reality in order to manifest the things that you truly want in your life. It's not going to happen overnight. It happens, you know, maybe a year, two years, however long God feels that it needs to take in order to give you those things because everything right now on your vision board, you're not ready for. Some of those things, you have to become somebody different in order for those things to happen in your life, in order for those experiences to actually <clears throat> come into fruition. So um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about how you can begin manifesting because um, another thing that I realized is that people have the first step down to manifesting things in their life but they don't have the other two steps down and they wonder you know why aren't things manifesting for me okay so there's three V's to manifestation I need you to get out a pen and paper and write this down because I, this is very important if you really want to start having the things that you visualize I need you to write this down there are three things to manifestation, three stages or three um, processes to manifestation. And I call them the three V's, V's as in Victor, of manifestation. The first V is the one that everybody has down. You don't even probably need me to talk about this one, but the first V is visualization. So you have to be able to visualize the things that you truly desire. and you visualize that with your imagination and your imagination is something that everybody has like this is your gift from God everything that is around you right now the chair that you're sitting on the phone that you're using to watch this video um, everything the pen that you're writing notes with was once in someone's imagination and they said hmm I wonder um, how it would be if we had this thing to make life easier and they created it and so God gave you your imagination for a very, very important reason, and that's so that you can be in, begin creating in this reality what you have in your mind. Now, your question may be, well, why don't I get everything that I um, see in my imagination? And the reason is because you don't know the other two V's to the process. Um, there are people that take their ideas and everything in their imagination to the grave every single day because there are a million possibilities of things that can happen for you based on what you can see. However, you have to be the person that puts those things into motion in order for those things to happen, okay? So the first V is visualization. The second V is vibration vibration write that down a lot of people understand the law of attraction they think that they visualize something and then it's supposed to magically pop up on their doorstep the problem is you're missing this vibration I want you to understand that when you feel something you're actually putting off an energy into 
the universe okay so the key is the vibration behind the visualization needs to be be a vibration of love it needs to be a vibration of gratitude it needs to be a vibrate vibration of belief and that is the most important thing you have to act as if you have to understand that faith is the substance of things hope for it's the substance because it's a belief pattern it's the energy that you are putting out saying that this is already done so you cannot visualize without the belief that it's already done the next v is velocity velocity represents movement it represents motion faith without works is dead and god is telling you this at all times you cannot sit there and visualize you cannot sit there and imagine things and just think they're going to start you know showing up on your doorstep you have to put something in motion because when you start acting that is proof that you believe that it's done and here's the catch when you believe something you start acting on it subconsciously it's just kind of like when you sit down in a chair you already believe that that chair is going to hold you up so you sit down in it how do you know it's really going to hold you up you, you don't know you assume you believe you have faith and so you sit in the chair and that's what it takes to manifesting things in your life first you have to visualize then you have to have some vibration some belief some gratitude some love some 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 type of emotion that shows that this thing is real and then next you have to um, have that velocity that motion that proves that I understand that this really is gonna happen so I'm gonna start taking steps towards it that's when the miracle happens that's when God gives you um, everything that you've been dreaming of and then he overflows and then he gives you more than what you asked for so that's it I don't want this video to be too long I just want you guys to understand there are three parts to um, manifesting things in your life if you truly enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up like share comment um, definitely definitely they'll share it so everybody who is creating vision boards right now know how to properly use them for this upcoming year thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next